Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? Welcome to another edition of the State of the Saints podcast, where we talk New Orleans Saints. My name is TJ Jones. Thanks for checking out the podcast. I really do appreciate it. On this edition, we're going to be breaking down the 2019 NFL Draft. We're going to be talking about each and every player that the New Orleans Saints selected. First off, I want to give a special shout out to everyone listening to the podcast right now. Thank you for your love and your support. And if you haven't already, please check out the State of the Saints podcast on Facebook, facebook.com. Search the State of the Saints podcast. I give you up to date news on the New Orleans Saints, and I also post different videos regarding the team. So check it out once again, facebook.com. Search the State of the Saints podcast. But let's go ahead and break this down. The 2019 draft is over, done, kaput, finito, and now the New Orleans Saints look forward towards a positive and a productive 2019 season. The New Orleans Saints made some, well, some interesting moves um, on the second and third day of the NFL draft. Now, the New Orleans Saints, of course, their day didn't start on day one, which was Thursday, because... Well, the Saints didn't have a first-round pick. They used that, and they traded up last year to get Marcus Davenport. They gave their first-round draft pick to the Green Bay Packers, and the Saints' first pick came in the second round, and they were picking number 48 overall, and they used that to pick up center Eric McCoy out of Texas A&M. Now, if you don't know who Eric McCoy is, well, that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> to let you know, was it a good pick or a bad pick? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the player, and I'm going to give you a grade. What I think about the New Orleans Saints picking that player and what I give the team for picking them. And with Eric McCoy, I think that this is a huge pickup for the New Orleans Saints. I mean, huge. The New Orleans Saints, they needed somebody at this position, especially um, since the abrupt retirement of Max Unger. I mean, nobody saw that coming. And the Saints went go get Nick Easton from the Minnesota Vikings to fill that role that Max Unger left. And that is a huge role. I mean, that is huge. And I think that what the Saints did by picking up Eric McCoy from Texas A&M and drafting him to be a part of the New Orleans Saints organization was huge. I mean, this guy is six foot three, three 304 pounds. And let me tell you something, man. This guy played three years of college football. He had over 1,500 snaps, and he only allowed one sack. I'm going to say that again. He had over 1,500 offensive snaps, and he only allowed one sack. That's huge. The fact that this guy was in the second round, I mean, it, it just – Quistical to me. I, I don't understand how teams let this guy go, but I'm glad he fell into the lap of the New Orleans Saints. On a grade scale from A plus to F, I give it an A because, number one, the Saints need somebody at that position. And even if Nick Easton ends up being the center for the New Orleans Saints, Eric McCoy can e even slide over to the guard position and he can play alongside Nick Easton or vice versa because Nick Easton – also has experience playing the left and the right guard. So that's huge for the Saints. I like that pickup. Congratulations to Eric McCoy. He seems like a very humble young man. And I was watching the NFL draft when he was drafted by the Saints, and the camera showed him and his family. And everybody was cheering and clapping, and him and his mom shared a special moment. He fell into the arms of his mom, and they were just holding each other. And it seemed like, they had people in the room, but the only people that were there were him and his mom. And I thought that was just so special. So congratulations to him. Once again, I'm giving that great a, a huge pickup for the New Orleans Saints. And then the Saints didn't have another pick until day three. And they decided to pick up in a fourth round, pick number 105, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Now, he is a safety out of Florida. Now, I was kind of confused about this because um, on my live feed on Facebook, I talked a little bit about the needs of the New Orleans Saints. And somebody said, what about a safety? And I was like, I don't think the Saints need a safety. I don't think they need a safety. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I mean, other positions need to be filled. I don't think they need to go in that direction. 
and the Saints picked up a safety. <laughs> so I guess I'm eating crow, right? Um, but anyway, um, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. This guy um, is a ball hawk. Um, he's a he's a ball hawk. If you ever watch uh, any SEC football or watch any Florida Gator football, this guy was all over the field. This guy has nine career interceptions, three return for touchdowns. I know why the Saints picked him up. Okay, I know why. Because number one, like I said, he's a ball hawk. And number two, he can turn an interception into touchdowns. A lot of people giving this guy a lot of credit at his ability to intercept the ball and also make moves. Now, be on the lookout because this guy might, just might be playing on special teams. The Saints might put him back there to return some kicks and maybe he can make some things happen. I like this pick right here. I didn't feel like it was necessary. No, I'm not being petty because I said they didn't need a safety and they, they got one. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it didn't feel like it was necessary. I didn't feel like it was necessary. I feel like other positions needed to be filled in the fourth round. So on a scale of A plus to F, I got to give this a C. I got to give this a C, man, because, I mean, time will tell what kind of player Gardner Johnson is, okay? I'm not even evaluating this based on his ability because he has a lot of ability i'm looking at what the saints really need so i'm going to say it was eh, average average i mean but i'd like to hear from you let me know what you think about it but anyway uh keeping up with the nfl draft the saints made another pick in the sixth round pick 177 they picked up another safety <laughs> Saquon Hampton out of Rutgers. Now, this guy is a very lengthy uh, secondary player, okay? He can play corner, and he can also play safety. I understand why the Saints picked him up, okay? I understand why, because the Saints kind of struggled trying to find cornerbacks in the slot, okay? So this guy, he can play safety. He's a decent tackler. He's not a better tackler than Gardner Johnson is. I forgot to mention that. Gardner Johnson, he's a very good tackler. But Hampton is a guy who can who can line up in the slot. He can jam that slot receiver, and he can kind of bully him. I mean, he has some size to him. I think he's six foot one, 206 pounds. Um, he has room to grow. Uh, the only problem that I have with uh, Saquon Hampton is the fact that he's a little weak, man. I, I'm not calling him a weakling. I'm just saying he's a tad bit weak, man. He struggled um, during this combine, especially, uh, you know, lifting. I think he only got uh, the 225 up just a, a few times. Um, not what I would expect out of a guy who is playing in the secondary. But, I mean, he's a work in progress. And especially when you're getting a guy like this in the sixth round, I think the Saints understand that. But I think he can be a, a decent player. Maybe somebody that can play on special teams right away. And maybe he can kind of transition. Depends on um, the effort that he puts towards in training camp and the want to. I feel like he can make the field. But on a scale of A plus to F, I got to give this grade a D. Because once again, why are you picking two safeties? Why are you picking two safeties? You can go out here and get a wide receiver or somebody at another position, maybe a running back or something like that, somebody that could – uh, play with Latavius Murray and Alvin Kamara, a guy that can go out the backfield or something like that, um, a power back. I don't know. I, I just didn't like it, man. I wasn't feeling the two safety picks. I feel like the Saints um, shouldn't have done that. Okay, you go get a safety in the fourth round. I mean, wasn't all that good, but I'm okay with it. But to get two, I mean, come on, man. What What is we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> But moving on um, to the seventh round. Seventh round pick number 231 overall is Alize Mack. Alize Mack is a tight end. Um, he's six foot four, 237 pounds, and he's coming out of Notre Dame. Now, I like this pick right here. I think that it was a good pick for the New Orleans Saints. Um, this guy um, played all four years. Um, at Notre Dame, so he has experience. I like that. Um, he has range. He's six foot four. He's not going to be a starter, of course, because the Saints got Josh Hill and Jared Cook, but he will be going up against uh, Griffin and probably Dan Arnolds to try to compete, to try to get some playing time. Um, this guy is a pass-catching tight end. He struggles with run blocking, which would explain why he was a seven-round pick. 
but I think the Saints can really utilize him. Um, he has a a huge upside. A lot of people are saying Jimmy Graham when this guy was drafted on Twitter, stop it. Okay, stop it, man. Like let let's let's not put the cart before the horse. All right, let's not put the cart before the horse. Allow this man to go out here and play. Will he make some plays? Only time will tell. Um, does he have a lot of promise? Absolutely. But he left a lot of plays on the field. I watched this guy play at Notre Dame last year, and it was sometimes where he showed up. I mean, he had three touchdowns. Um, he had maybe like 34 catches last year, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, he, he played pretty decent, but I feel like he could have done a lot more. So on a scale of A-plus to F, I'm going to give this pick a C. I'm giving an average grade to an average player. I mean, this guy's average right now. Um, can he uh, rise to the occasion? I think so. Um, I was listening to him talk, and it seems like he has a chip on his shoulder. It seems like he has something to prove. Um, a question was asked, what are the Saints getting with him? He said, a, a monster, a threat, a problem. I like the language. I like how he's talking, man. I like the swag. I like the bravado, the machismo. But you got to go out there and produce, man. You cannot become a ghost, okay? We got to be able to count on you in a who that nation to make plays okay i think he can be good when it comes to red zone but only time will tell once again and finally the saints pick up a linebacker out of idaho kaden ellis kaden ellis he is a three-year start at idaho he was first team all big sky he had over 120 tackles in his career i think he's fifth all time at his college and he's a leader. A lot of people respect him in his locker room. He was the name team captain. Uh, I think that he has an opportunity to make the New Orleans Saints team. Uh, he's a sideline to sideline guy. He's a guy who never quits, never gives up. He's a little small right now. I've seen some uh, pictures of him. Uh, seems like a pretty small linebacker. I think he's maybe like a six foot three, 230 pounds. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a decent size for a linebacker, but um man he 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 has to improve he has to get a little bit stronger um they said that he's a short tackler i'm gonna be honest with you not watching much idaho football okay the only thing i know about idaho is that's where potatoes come from <laughs> that's all i know man that's all i got for you i had to research this guy hopefully he can make the team now we all know how it goes man when when players get drafted in the six and the seven round it's not set in stone that they're going to make the team. But I think that this guy has an opportunity to make the team. If he goes out there, lays it all on the line, leaves it all on the field, um, a guy that has over 120 tackles, that shows me right there he's everywhere. He can be a problem. So if he can show that he has what it takes, I think he can make the team. On a scale of A-plus to an F, it's a seven-round pick. Yeah. Let's give him a C, too. I give him a C. A C for Caden Ellis. And those are your brand new New Orleans Saints players from the 2019 NFL Draft. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Saints draft picks? Do you like them? Do you not like them? I would like to hear from you. Comment down below. Like and share this video. Also, check out the State of the Saints podcast on Twitter. Go to Twitter and follow at... S-O-T-S Podcast 8. That's S-O-T-S Podcast 8. And previous episodes of the podcast are available on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio.com. Till next time, all I have to say is, who that?